Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie, and if you did not catch yesterday's video, I mentioned in there that I was going to be doing a like midway break video. Uh, I'm not taking a full on break. The videos are gonna keep coming for the 101 days, but I thought that since we hit the 58 way mark, it would be fun to release something else. Just give all of us, including myself, a momentary break. So I am excited for today's video and also, yes, I have new hair. If you want to see me doing this, it's up on my Patreon. Uh, links for all that is in the description. Anyway, so on to today's video. I thought it would be fun to do a top films that influenced me as a child. Uh, this is an idea that popped in my head kind of pretty early on while well, I started doing the 101 days and and I know that a lot of people have been doing kind of these top films that have changed them or influenced them in some way. If you guys want me to make up a list of those, uh, let me know in the comments below and that's something else I can try to work on. Uh, but I thought that it would be fun to do this list. Uh, these are not necessarily like intensely horror films, but they are films that are in the spooky realm that I watched as a child that I feel like kind of formed who I am today and my interest in the spooky-esque world. Uh, so let's go ahead and just getting into the list. And it's not necessarily in any particular order. Uh, and I got about five films, so let's just go ahead and talk about them. So the first one is Hocus Pocus. After moving to Salem, Massachusetts, teenager Max Dennison explores an abandoned house with his sister Danny and their new friend Allison. After dismissing a story Allison tells as superstition, Max accidentally frees a coven of evil witches who used to live in the who used to live in the house. Now with the help of a magical cat, the kids must steal the witch's book of spells to stop them from becoming immortal. Now I'm sure all of you probably remember watching Hocus Pocus as a kid. For me, like every year Disney Channel would play this film and I would watch it every single time it came on. Like. No matter how many times they played this film, I had to watch this one. And yeah, it's just a film that like I had to watch any chance that I got. I absolutely loved Hocus Pocus. It's just one of my earlier film obsessions that I can remember. And it definitely, definitely had a heavy impact on my love for spookiness and my love for black cats. The next one is Beetlejuice. Now I do know that some of these I talked about around Halloween. Um, I did like top films to watch around Halloween so I will leave links to that information down in the description below. I will leave links to any of those videos down in the description below uh, and so Beetlejuice I know is one that I definitely talked about. After Barbara and Adam Maitland die in a car accident, they find themselves stuck haunting their country residence, unable to leave the house. When the unbearable Dietzes and teen daughter by the house, the Maitlands attempt to scare them away without success. Their efforts attract Beetlejuice, a rambunctious spirit whose help quickly becomes dangerous for the Maitlands and innocent Linda. Again, this is a film I'm sure, I'm sure pretty much every film on this list you guys will have seen. I'm sure majority of you grew up with Beetlejuice. This is a film that like Linda, having a character like Linda, really anything that Winona Ryder has done like definitely impacted me. Like she is one of my favorite actresses just because like, I so relate to her characters, even though, like, obviously each character is different. Uh, especially with Linda, she was just, like, this kid that was, like, into weird stuff who didn't really, like, feel like she completely related with her parents. So, like, didn't have a horrible relationship with them, but she just felt like they and, like, nobody got her. 
and her just being like, oh, strange and unusual kid. I totally connected with her right away and it's obviously just like a fun film and definitely formed also my love for Michael Keaton because He's fantastic. <laughs> and on to the third one, which I feel like I really should have put this film as probably my number one impactful one, uh, and that is The Nightmare Before Christmas. The film follows the misadventures of Jack Skellington, Halloween Town's beloved Pumpkin King, who has become bored with the same annual routine of frightening people in the real world. When Jack accidentally stumbles upon Christmas Town, all bright colors and warm spirits, he gets a new lease on life. He plots to bring Christmas under his control by kidnapping Santa and taking over the role. But Jack soon discovers even the best laid plans of mice and skeleton men can go seriously awry. So this is a film that, like I said, I probably should have put it as like number one even though these technically aren't in any order because this is a film that my entire family was obsessed. Actually kind of the next, this one and the next two after this I think we were all obsessed with but this one like my parents had us watching this for as long as I can remember. We would watch it around Christmas, we would watch it around Halloween. Really any excuse to watch this film. Uh, as you'll see from this list, we are quite a bit into the spooky musicals. Uh, and this is definitely one that like the whole family was into. My dad, when I was little, would always try to like, he'd always try to embarrass me by making me be like, nice work, Bo Daddy. Because for whatever reason, like, when I was, you know your parents tried to make you, like, embarrass you. When I was little, like, I, that lied for whatever reason, like, <laughs> I would always get, like, embarrassed and I don't know. But I, it's a film that even still to this day, I gotta watch it around Halloween. I gotta watch it around Christmas. Uh, it's just, it's a perfect film that you can watch at both times. Um, and again, like, feeling like you really relate to these like weird out of this world because they really were out of this world they lived in their own world the characters um and jack trying like so hard to kind of connect to uh other worlds and connect to like this beautifulness uh and i just it's such a fantastic film and it, to be honest is probably uh, the most influential film on this list. And now on to number two, which is Little Shop of Horrors. I told you guys we loved the spooky musicals in my house. Meek flower shop assistant Seymour pines for co-worker Audrey. During a total eclipse, he discovers an unusual plant he names Audrey too, which feeds only on human flesh and blood. The growing plant attracts a great deal of business for the previously struggling store. After Seymour feeds Audrey's boyfriend, Orin, to the plant after Orin's accidental death, he, be he must come up with more bodies for the increasingly bloodthirsty plant. This is the version from the 80s that my family watched. I believe there is an earlier version as well. Uh, I don't know about any later versions, but we are definitely obsessed with the more 80s one. Um, I personally preferred this one to the number one film on this film on this list. I feel like my family. Uh, preferred the other one which I will get to but this one I absolutely love I loved kind of musicals growing up uh, not horror related but I was definitely definitely obsessed with Grease probably way too young of an age uh, and this is just another musical spooky one that I was definitely obsessed with and still love to this day and now I'm probably gonna go watch it because <laughs> Let's make me want to uh, watch all these and yeah, just uh, Little Shop of Horrors was so, so great. And on to the number one film and that is Rocky Horror Picture Show. In this cult classic, sweethearts Brad and Janet, stuck with a flat tire during a storm, discover the eerie mansion of Dr. Frankenfurter, a transvestite scientist. As their innocence is lost, Brad and Janet meet a house 
full of wild characters, including a rocker biker and a creepy butler. Through elaborate dances and rock songs, Rakenfurter unveils his latest creation, a muscular man named Rocky. So this is probably the absolute one that my family was obsessed with, like probably above A Nightmare Before Christmas, even though that one I do kind of prefer more. Um, and like I said, I do personally prefer Little Shop of Horrors more to this one, but man, my family was obsessed with this, like movie nights. Uh, there wasn't really a specific like time of year to watch this one, of course, around Halloween. Uh, we would have like a full-on snack night. My dad would make these sandwiches that he called Swamp Things, yes, named after the movie, um, they're fantastic. He would, we'd get like, you know, the frozen snacks, uh, cheese platter, crackers, all that stuff, a bunch of stuff I don't eat now, but, uh, yeah, we would do the whole shebang, the whole family would gather, I mean there's four of us, not that big a family, but we would gather around it definitely to watch this film. I don't know where my parents' obsession with this film came from, but they loved it and definitely got me and my sister into this one at a very young age. Um, I also, I did enjoy the remake. I don't know if anybody, if any of you have seen the remake. I actually didn't mind it. I thought they did a really good job with the remake. Um, obviously it was like a live TV show version. Uh, and, but yeah, of course nothing is going to beat the original Tim Curry in this and you know Tim Curry is a respected name in the Cooper household uh I yeah I I don't feel like there's like a whole lot for me to say about this film it's just really like set me off on the horror realm for sure uh and I mean this film can be like pretty intense and like a little frightening at parts uh, even with all the fun music, because of course Dr. Frankenfurter is like kind of a horrible person. But yes, that is my list, my top five spooky-esque films that influenced me as a child. Let me know what some of the films were that influenced you as a child that you think definitely mold you into the person you are today. In the comments below, if you are a YouTuber and you want to do your own video, definitely just let me know. Um, and again, if you guys want me to try and make up a list of films that like heavily affected me in some way, definitely let me know in the comments below as well. If you guys did enjoy this, please do give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more horror related content. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Oh, uh, and we will be back on track with the 101 days. And before I go, a quick shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for helping to contribute to the channel. If you know the perks to being a Patreon, again, the links are in the description below along with all of my other social media. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Bye!